everybody, welcome back to Ebby Loves Makeup and today I am doing another Halloween tutorial and this is going to be kind of a two-in-one for Wednesday Adams. This was a request from my very beautiful cousin Arlita. So Arlita, I hope this is helpful. Um, I started off by doing <clears throat> a more, not realistic because the movie is not realistic, but a more true to the movie kind of look. So younger, a little bit more age appropriate <clears throat> if you're going for something that is very true to the Christina Ricci Wednesday Adams. This one is a little bit more glamorous, obviously, and I threw a little bit of color in with the eyelashes, you know, just to mix it up a little bit. So if you're going for a sexy Wednesday Adams, you know, then this might be an option for you. So if my cheap $5 wig from Walmart, tell me this is not a good look for me. It really is. I know. It's so hot. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial, and I will see you guys after. Alright guys, now just taking any peachy pink eyeshadow that you have and an eyeshadow brush, we're going to sweep this right underneath the eyes. This is going to help create kind of a more sickly look and as you can see it's already bringing out the kind of redness in my eye. Um, redness, pinkiness, and we're just going to place that messily following the natural circles that you have underneath your eyes if you have them. We are not using any concealer for this look because we do want that kind of sick, dead kind of situation going. Now using a light gray shadow and a pencil brush, we're just going to really follow underneath where we place that pinky peach shadow. And you don't want to place this too darkly, but you do want to be pretty generous with it because we are going to blend that in all together. And again, that is just going to accentuate the bags underneath the eyes. And enjoy this because this is something that we never get to do. Now just taking that same gray shadow and a fluffy brush, I'm going to start sweeping this all in the crease. And this is not going to be pretty. It is going to be a little messy. Um, so again, we want to create hollowed out eyes without being glamorous. So go to town with this. Um, we are going to start building this up slowly. And any fluffy eyeshadow brush and any light gray shadow will do for this. Once that's done, with a pencil brush, we're going to go in with a dark black shadow or a dark charcoal gray and just place that right in the outer corner. And please excuse my palette being in the way of this. It's hard without a viewfinder, guys. And now just on top of that, you can see what a mess it is. We're going to take a kind of pukey army green color and just place that right over that black or charcoal shadow. This is going to, again, help accentuate kind of a green-tinged, unhealthy look to the skin, to the eyes. And once that's placed on there, we're just going to go back in with that fluffy brush and blend it all out. And again, don't be shy. Go to town with this. Have some fun. And as you can see, we're kind of bringing it down on the lid. We are sweeping it all over the eye, and we're really going to start accentuating that inner corner of the eye. Instead of highlighting it, we're going to shade it and make it, again, look sunken and dark and sickly. Looks like this are fun because this is the exact opposite of how we usually want to look. So go to town. Now going in with that gray shadow, almost this is almost a grayish blue shadow and a fluffy brush where you're going to start creating our contour. Again, I'm just using eyeshadows for this. I don't want to do anything too warm, even a taupey color because we are going for that kind of, again, dead, sickly look. And I'm just using a shadow brush for this. You can, of course, use any brush you want, but this just gets into the powder a little bit better. And then what I'm going to do is go back in with a small tapered uh, brush. This one's from e.l.f. I believe. I'm just going to go ahead and take that shadow and just bring it up just a little bit where I would normally contour or bronze to help add a little bit of dimension to the face. But this is about all we're doing for the face because we do want to keep it very just matte and gray scaled. And now going back in with a that black shadow, I am going to really fill in my eyebrows. In the movie, Wednesday Adams has very straight kind of bushy unruly eyebrows and those are not generally how mine are so whatever you're comfortable with do and now for the lips what we're going to do is i'm taking and i apologize for being out of frame for this sorry guys new camera i am going to take a kind of terracotta brownish red and 
kind of reverse line my do a reverse ombre on my lips what I'm doing even though you can't see it and I will show you in a minute sorry is just kind of fill in the inner portion of the lips and then I'm going to draw lines down in the center of my lips kind of following the natural lines in my lips to create kind of a cracked again dead sickly look that's all about the glamour girls and then I'm gonna go in with a very light skin toned lipstick and just kind of dab it on over the lip liner just to blend it all out and then I lost this footage but what I did is went back in with a, um, a blue tinted li uh, eyeliner and just followed in where the um, terracotta color was and just to create that kind of purple tinge in there now I'm going in with a very very natural mascara we are not trying to accentuate the lashes at all and that is pretty much the look you add your widow's peak with some eyeliner and a wig and you have got the movie Wednesday Adams it's a great look <laughs> now going on to the glamorous look I got rid of the widow's peak but we're just gonna use the same look as a jumping off point and I'm just taking a matte black gel liner and I'm creating a pretty substantial wing here so whatever you're comfortable with use and for a foundation I really didn't show it because it's pretty basic I just used the lightest foundation I had and I mixed in some cream um, you know 98 cent white makeup from Walmart it really didn't work too well with my skin because my skin is very dry so if you have something like um, body paint or makeup forever flash palette to kind of mix in with your foundation I would definitely suggest that that's why it looks a little cakey around my hairline but once we have um, got that wing on there just fill it in you want it to be deep dark black and I'm just gonna go over it just to make sure that it is very substantial and then I'm going to take a, just a tiny little bit and bring it just in on the outer fourth of my eye we don't want to bring this in at all we just want to create a little bit of a shadow and take it up to meet that upper liner or the liner on the upper lashes and now I'm gonna throw on some lashes you can do this or not I'm just taking some very dramatic blue lashes on the top to add some color and I put just some spiky ones on the bottom and now I'm just going in with a gray lipstick you could do a black lipstick you could do a red lipstick it's whatever you choose to do I'm using stone Fox from the this is the new um, suede liquid lipsticks from NYX and it's a creates a really fun awesome look Hey everybody, so that was the tutorial, kind of my movie version and then a more fun, glamorous version if you're feeling a little feisty. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Um, but yeah, let me know. And if you have any um, recreations or you take any pictures, um, then, you know, on Instagram or anything like that, then just um, tag me, hashtag Evie Loves Makeup. Um, but again, thank you so much for taking the time to um, watch and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. You guys are so awesome. And I love that y'all love hanging out and playing with makeup with me. And Arlita, I better get some pictures. So, but as always, you guys have an amazing day. Have a rocking week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.